Welcome. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the virtual information session for the Human Resources Management Certificate Program here at the University of Miami. What we're going to be doing, we're going to wait five more minutes, if you don't mind, so we allow some people to be able to log in. It's already noon. We'll promise you that we will start sharply at 12.05. All right. Thank you so much. For those of you who just joined us, just wanted to let you know that we are just waiting a couple of minutes. We will start sharp at 12.05 p.m. Thank you. And good afternoon again. It is 12.05, so we're definitely going to start right now. Uh, so again, welcome to the virtual information session for the Human Resources Management Certificate Program here at the University of Miami. I am your host. My name is J.C. Garcia. I'll be the one. Uh, I work here at the university as an enrollment manager. I will be one of the, one of the contacts for you for this program. Now, let me read this slide to you, and it says, 
The division of continuing international education at the University of Miami aims to empower people to reach their full potential through lifelong and life-wide learning. With more than 70 credit and non-credit programs, the division creates continuous learning experience that transforms individuals, organizations, and entire community. If you need to visit us, this is the website on the bottom. And by the way, this will be recorded so you'll get a copy of this uh, slide as well. So please connect with us, uh, follow us. Uh, by all means, we are definitely on social media. As you can see, we have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Make sure to follow so that we all find out about any new program that we might be starting. Uh, we always have new programs in creative and we would love for you to follow us and be able to register for our programs. Now, today, again, welcome. Today, the, the info session will last about 60 minutes. Uh, it is being recorded and you will get a copy of this uh, after the fact. And um, please, please, please submit your question using the Q&A feature on the, uh, on the bottom of the page. So make sure that you ask us questions. Feel free to, as soon as you hear something that you uh, would like to find out the answer to, just make sure to submit the question immediately and we'll get to that at the end, all right? And then we'll talk about how to register even at, uh, during the session as well. So what we'll be discussing today's session. So we'll be talking about the human resources management program. We will explore the financial and employment outlook for the human resources profession and uh, the available payment options. And of course, we'll have the Q&A as I mentioned uh, before. So to the, today we're honored to have our lead faculty, uh, Mr. John Pratt's. Uh, Mr. John Pratt is currently a lead faculty and lecturer at the University of Miami, where he teaches the SHRM learning system, employee planning and practice, and benefits and compensation. He is a certified member of the SHRM and HRCI, who remains focused on current and emerging HR trends and best practices. After 36 years of continuing services, Mr. Pratt retired from the Miami-Dade County in 2019. He oversaw the Personnel Management Bureau of the Miami-Dade Corrections uh, Rehabilitation Department, the eighth largest jail system in the United States with a 306 million operating budget and workforce of 3,068 budgeted positions. As the tenure veteran of Miami-Dade County, Mr. Pratt served in a key diversified roles, including assistant director for the housing development and loan administration division, where he managed 260 million affordable housing construction loan portfolio and work closely with the board of county commissioners to spend 137 million in a general obligation bonds for affordable housing. Mr. Brass received a bachelor's degree in business administration from Florida International University, a master's of business administration and a graduate certificate in human resources management from St. Thomas University. Mr. Brass is certified as a senior professional in human resources, SPHR, and also SHRM SCP. So thank you again, Mr. Prats, for joining us today, and the floor is yours. You are muted, Mr. Prats. Thank you. Thank you very much for that wonderful int introduction. As you, as you can see, I look totally different from that picture. I was like, who is that young guy? <laughs> uh, I've let my beard grow since then. So um, it's been a pleasure since I retired from the county. I really haven't retired. I've continued working I, uh, in, in the area of human resources as a human resources director. And I've been teaching in this uh, for the Division of Continuing and International Education at the University of Miami for the last four years. It's been, it's been quite, quite a privilege. I can't believe it's been four years. I've met so many students, and, uh, and one of the most fascinating things that I would like to say is the networking opportunities that exist at the University of Miami. I always remind my students to look around, uh, look around the room, whether it's a live classroom or a Zoom class, look around and, um, and become friends, become, become um, colleagues forever because that's what networking is all about. We are, especially when we are all engaged in taking a human resources class, we're going to be either we are working in the field or we want to work in that field. And there's nothing smarter than having a network of other human resources professionals. So I continuously receive emails and phone calls from past students who are now working in the field asking 
me about, uh, you know, anything that I may have encountered. It's always great to connect again with students. So it's like once we're a part of this program, once we're a part of this uh, University of Miami Human Resources family, we remain in that family. So um, just to tell you a little bit about the program, um, it's a six month program. And uh, it's been an absolute honor for me to work with such fine professionals. Uh, we have different instructors, uh, lecturers that teach each of these modules. There are six modules in all. And we do require that the students, um, they have a passing grade of 70 uh, or better for each module in order to complete the program and then obtain the certificate at the end. Clearly, if we're all here, if, you, if we're here um, tuned into this uh, Zoom uh, program at this, uh, at this time, it's because we value the University of Miami. Of Miami. It's all about the U. And we know the value of that certificate uh, on your resume. Without a doubt, it is, it is a very strong uh, testament to your commitment to human resources that you have gone through the program. So the program is broken up, like I said, in six modules. The very first one is strategic management, where uh, the students will gain an understanding of the profession of human resources, uh, the strategic planning process, uh, the understanding, the environmental scanning, organizational design and development. And, and later on throughout the modules, I touch on strategy again, so we can see how it all fits together with the employment planning and uh, practice and benefits that I teach. Uh, so the strategic management module will last uh, one month. Then you'll have a different instructor that will teach legal and regulatory issues which encompasses employee and management rights, laws affecting personal practices, government mandated approaches to employee security, enforcement of policies and procedures. And uh, what you're getting is you're getting true practitioners, people that are working in the field, people that have, uh, that aren't only talking about theory, but they're able, we're able to bring you life stories. Like we like to say in HR, and I said this just yesterday, you can't make this stuff up. Uh, next slide, please. So, so far we've talked about uh, the, the first uh, two months. Uh, then later we go to employment planning and practice and benefits and compensation. So you will spend two months with me as I teach both of these modules. Uh, they're interrelated. So we really teach them back to back as, as the first one uh, uh, talks about the job analysis and design equal employment practices, effective recruitment strategies, employee orientation, placement, and separation process. And one of the things that we will see when we go to the next module is that without having the foundational knowledge, the foundation of the job analysis and design, we really won't be able to, uh, to, um, to work on the second part, which is benefits and compensation, determining what a job is actually worth. Uh, next slide, please. And finally, uh, the last uh, fourth and six months, we have training and organizational development. Uh, training uh, and organizational development as a strategic HR function, designing and implementing successful competency-based training and development programs, evaluating program effectiveness, organizational development, and change management. Employee and labor relations, employer union relation practices and activities, influencing employee motivation and satisfaction, contract compliance, managing organization and union relations. By the end of the six months, you will really have gone through all things human resources. You would have heard so many anecdotes from, from uh, professionals that are in the industry. And you would have become, uh, you know, uh, a close knit family, not only with us, but also with each other, each of the students participating. So, with that, I would like to, uh, you know, take a moment and uh, and let my colleague continue. And later, we will, I will stick around um, so that we could. Uh, well, well, here we have benefits of the program, I guess, before we we continue. 
uh, clearly one of the benefits that I started off talking about was the fact that you are going to have a certificate from the University of Miami, and that looks amazing on a resume when you're looking for a job because everyone, uh, I know that throughout my 36 years working for Miami-Dade County, whenever uh, we had applicants coming from the University of Miami, uh, people immediately take notice because it means something. It means, uh, you know, it's, it's just a school that it's, it's the best school around. Right. And we all know it. it uh, the name alone uh, just will open doors for you. My daughter, I, I will share this. My daughter recently graduated from, well, I say recently, I think it's going on two years before the pandemic. She graduated from the University of Miami and immediately she was getting internships. She's making a, a lot of money. She's doing really well. Uh, and, and it's really because of the, the, uh, the networking that she was able to accomplish while so that's always a benefit that I like to talk about. As far as the learning materials, each of the modules, um, we, we don't offer books, but what we offer is it's, it's a PowerPoint driven, um, each um, uh, PowerPoint driven uh, curriculum, which is developed by each of the, of the uh, lecturers. So uh, we're always updating the material because HR is forever evolving. So I'm going to stick around and I'm going to wait till the end so that if there are any questions, I will be around to answer. Thank you. I think you're muted. Thank you, Mr. Pratt. I mean, I, I also have a, a, a light issue here. Give me one second. I do apologize for that. That said, um, thank you, Mr. Pratt, it's, it's amazing. And one thing that I do want to uh, just reiterate is the fact that if you notice the program, each uh, it has six different modules, but at the same time, each module is like a different department within HR. So definitely when you're done with a program, I mean, look at all the opportunities that you will have to apply to, let's say they have an opening in benefits, they have a, 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 uh, an opening in strategic management. So depending which department within HR that you might see an opportunity in the future, and I'm talking about job placement opportunities, you, you will be able to apply. I mean, it's a very, very complex and complete program based on what I was seeing. And uh, I do agree with uh, Mr. Brad about the power of uh, having a degree from the University of Miami. And in order for you to sign up, it's quite simple. And also here in this slide that we still have open, keep in mind that everything will be included in the, in the cost of the program. Once you signed up, there's nothing else to purchase. And this also, you will receive uh, a, a one year membership to the Society for Human Resources Management as well. And all of that is included in the cost of the program. Now. Our program is, uh, the, is basically called an online self-case. Basically, uh, what that means, just to be more in, in details and, and to make more sense out of that, is basically you go to school during your time, whatever is the best time for you to be able to sit down and study. However, you will have deadlines that you have to meet, like homework and quizzes, and you do have to meet those deadlines. So it's not like you go way all the way to the end to submit work or anything like that. You do have to go along with the rest of the class as well. The program will be starting very soon. We still have a few spots available, which is October 17th. It will finish next year on April the 23rd, as Mr. Bratz mentioned before, the program lasts six month. The cost of the program is $24.95, as you see here in the slide. Again, everything will be included in the cost of the program. Now, how do you pay for this? Well, we have three different ways for you to be able to pay for our program. Uh, of course, the first one will be for you to pay in full from the get-go, from the onset. Uh, the second one will be for you, let's say you could always set up a payment plan. So you could pay it little by little in a monthly basis. Uh, the last option that you do have is for you to be able to get a private educational loan in order for you to be able to pay for the program. And again, I would like to emphasize the fact that everything will be included in the cost of the program. Now, to get in contact with me about the enrollment process, I could walk you from beginning to end. I could hold your hand, create the account that we need to create and submit uh, the payment, everything. I will, I will walk you through it. This is my contact information. So uh, my email is, uh, just in case you cannot really see it, is jxg 
1870 at miami.edu. So once again, that is J as a Jack, X as X-ray, G as Google, number one, number eight, number seven, number zero at miami.edu. My number, of course, is 305 284 8841. At this point in time, I noticed that we do have a question and I would like to address that question. Give me just one second. And it says from uh, Mr. Perez, how do you think artificial intelligence will impact the HR industry and its profession? Do you hear that, Mr. Pratt? Yes, I heard the question. It's an excellent question. It is. Uh, first of all, um, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, so there are several cases about artificial intelligence in human resources. One of the most uh, widely talked about is uh, Amazon. Um, it's, it's something that you can Google and research and, uh, and see the effects. Uh, basically, uh, Amazon was accused of, um, of discriminating, um, uh, basically. So you have to be very careful with artificial intelligence because at the end of the day, um, whether even, uh, even if you have um, any type of testing that is done, it is very important for HR to have a hand in it to actually, um, to, uh, e even indeed, uh, people on e indeed can go ahead and apply and set up these um, a test. I always recommend that HR, the hiring manager, take the test themselves. Be sure that they can pass it themselves and fully understand uh, to make sure that there is job relevance. Well, the same occurs with artificial intelligence. I think that artificial intelligence will have and continue to have a greater role. But uh, any HR uh, manager should always um, should always make sure to advocate for the human for the human uh, touch in artificial intelligence. In other words, you can't just let um, artificial intelligence make all the decisions for us. It, it should be there to, to make our lives easier in the selection process. But uh, at the end of the day, we need to be very careful that um, especially uh, learning from Amazon so that uh, and, and in Amazon, as we can see, they scaled back on their artificial intelligence. So uh, those are my initial thoughts on, on the question. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Brad. We do have another question from Anonymous. Will this course provide solutions to current HR issues such as managing virtual teams? Uh, very interesting, a uh, very interesting question. And the answer is yes. The course will definitely answer um, Oftentimes, um, we have practitioners that come to the program with all kinds of questions during the whole COVID-19, um, you know, during the pandemic, all of these types of virtual, uh, virtual teams, managing virtual teams was coming up. And we had many practitioners in the class that, that addressed these issues and we were able to uh, tackle them not only um, so that they can hear from me, but also hear from other practitioners in the room that were experiencing the same problems. So most definitely, uh, this program gives us opportunities to tackle all, uh, all HR issues. Thank you, Mr. Bat. Any other question? All right, we have another one, Anonymous. Will I be able to meet with instructors? Well, the, the answer is definitely yes. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, just this week, uh, last week specifically, my first class, uh, I'm just teaching a SHRM class, but I'll give you a, a live example. Uh, SHRM is one of the hardest classes that I teach, and I'll, and I'll talk about that later on, But because uh, once we finish this program, you will have the opportunity to also um, enter the SHRM um, learning system, which I teach. And uh, even though it's a three hour class, a very intensive class, at the end of the class, there was a student who wanted to speak with me. That conversation lasted 30 minutes. So I am always available. Instructors are always available. Even 
even by just taking that opportunity at the end of a Zoom, asking for the instructor to stay on. And usually what happens during those conversations, an employee might, might want to address a specific work-related issue. And we are there for you as well. So we really, you know, uh, we, we just become uh, colleagues. We become resources for you. And it's always a pleasure because we're all in the same business. So it's a pleasure to discuss and share with you uh, what, uh, you know, what seems to work, or what, what has worked in the past. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Next question, he says, will this course provide assistance with federal contractors and federal subcontractors? When you say assistance, um, I'm not clear if you're asking if the course touches on uh, on um, on regulations related to them. I'm not sure what you mean by assistance. Uh, anonymous, did you hear that? Uh, can you be a little bit more clear when you're saying assistance? Are you talking about perhaps job assistance or are we talking about what Mr. Pratt was actually asking? If you could please let us know. Uh, HR regulations, was that you anonymous? I have something that says HR regulations. Well, uh, well, yes, um, it does. Um, it touches uh, not in the great, at least not the modules that I teach. Um, we may, uh, I think you will encounter uh, some of that uh, uh, with uh, labor, uh, labor management, the labor management course. Uh, but uh, even, even in my module, it does come up, uh, but, but at, at a very high level. Uh, obviously, if you wanted to engage in further questions, um, you know, that would be an opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Pat. Uh, we do have a question uh, that, that is definitely, do you need uh, some English qualifications uh, like BC1 or C2 to, access, to have access to the course? Um, the, the answer would be uh, yes. Mr. Bratz, how do you feel about that? Okay, so are we talking about um, the, would the program require competency in the English language? I believe uh, that's what they're it, trying to ask, yes. Okay, well, uh, the, 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 um, just as we're speaking now, if you're able to, uh, to, understand, um, to understand this conversation, and if you are able to follow along on the PowerPoint slide, similar to PowerPoint slides that we put up earlier today, because this is how the curriculum is taught, then you will be fine. So there is no um, requirement per se, but in order for you to understand, you, you must have the ability. Uh, if you feel comfortable in fully understanding everything that we have spoken uh, uh, so about so far, I think you will be fine. Thank you so much, excellent answer. I have another question here from Anonymous. It says, <clears throat> which of the two programs provides better benefits in terms of learning? Would the live session be better than the online? I believe that the learning, the learning is up to the student. Uh, I would like to, uh, uh, th there's, a, there's a story that touched my heart recently and I want to share it with you. At the end of one of my classes, my students got together and they decided to send me a fruit basket with three big balloons that said, thank you. I remember being at work and I saw the, the, person, the delivery person bringing this right toward my office. And I was like, you know, and I'm looking at this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where's this coming from? I was so surprised. And it touched my heart when I learned that it was coming from my students. And um, I say that to say this, that, that particular class uh, was a Zoom class. I always encourage my students. And in fact, even when we're teaching online, we encourage the students to keep their camera on so that we can all see each other as we're having so it's up to each individual student, whether you're sitting in a classroom, if you choose not to be engaging or you're, or you're taking a Zoom class where you can see everybody's faces and you don't want to share your camera or you are not being engaging, then 
So a lot depends on you, what you bring and what you want to get from, from the class. So um, going back to my example, that was a Zoom class and it was the, one of the best classes that I've ever had. And the testament was that my students wanted to send me this fruit basket because we became, I would say we connected. It was just a class that we all connected so well. And it was because everyone wanted, wanted to share. Everyone was engaging. All the, ca all the um, everyone's camera was on. That makes the difference. And just for just to be clear, uh, when Mr. Bats is talking about Zoom, he's talking about the live session class. Uh, but just for the record, right. uh, both programs, uh, the self pace or the, the live online, they do have the same curriculum. They do have the the, the same cost. They have the same uh, professors. So everything is the same thing. The difference is the teaching modality. For some people, for example, it might be very hard. For uh, for them to be at uh, that specific date of specific time sitting in front of a computer. And that is why we have given you the option of doing the self pace. So you basically go to school at midnight, whatever is the best time for you to be able to sit down and right. study. So please keep sure. in mind that you're, so you're, when, it comes, when it comes down to the curriculum, uh, you will have the, uh, the same uh, information as the, the live session. But of course, Mr. Bratz is talking about the experience of being in the live uh, online class. Absolutely. Exactly. Now, uh, and, go, and also to reinforce what you just said, uh, even if you're taking the self-paced, you still will have access to all of the taped videos where you will still see the same energy that, that everyone else that participated is exhibiting. So uh, you will also have that ability. And you will be able to reach out so, to Mr. Bratz as well, or to any professor with questions. That you might have so you will get that support as well it's just not going to be live of course but you will exactly. definitely have that option exactly now we have another question it says uh anonymous will this course include how to handle diversity and discrimination issues in the workplace well I, again i like to say yes it definitely includes um includes uh, a lot of legal aspects um, regarding discrimination, and we cover that in the employment planning and practice session specifically. That's why I said from the beginning, and I say to all of my students, that one of the foundations, the core elements of human resources is born out of the job analysis, which includes an essential job functions form and the job specs. So we definitely spend a lot of time talking about do's and don'ts and how uh, how these instruments, the job description, the essential job functions, the uh, job analysis, how all of that will help you to be able to avoid discrimination and to stay on the right side of the law. I even show some examples of, uh, of real examples that, would, that you would not believe what some um, people have posted. So we talk, We definitely spend a lot of time talking about that. Plus, um, uh, when, I, when I was talking about engaging, apart from the curriculum, as we are speaking on one subject and a student chimes in with specific cases or other questions, that's all, that is always welcome. And that just adds to the flavor of the class and the learning for everyone. Yeah, I actually yes. have a friend that, that took this program and it's interesting that it's one of the, th the things that she said was that uh, this uh, program empowered her uh, to know exactly as an employee what are your rights uh, as well. So that's uh, that's very very interesting. Absolutely, uh, the program will be starting on October 17th. Uh, it is an online self-paced program that will be starting on October uh, 17th, uh, Mr. Perez. The other, we do have a question. Well, will the training and development module help me develop, conduct employee training within my organization? Without a doubt, that is specifically what that module teaches. And the, and the instructor, she is amazing. Before I joined this program, I had to be in on a team with her. Both she and I were hired by a consultant uh, to teach a four day, um, uh, team building. It was a team building, a four-day team building um, training.
training that we conducted for an organization um, for their senior staff. So she is brilliant and she does that exceedingly well. And that, that is exactly what you will learn. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Any other question? I left this slide on so that way you'll be able to write down my email, my phone number. If you do come up with anything else, any other question, I'll promise you that we'll uh, get you the answer. All right, one more question. Does this program provide career assistance, job placement? We do not, no. Uh, this, this program does not offer a uh, job placement after the program. However, as uh, Mr. Brat was saying, one of the most important thing about this program would be for you to be able to network. Uh, and, and what better way to find employment and network? Anything else you'd like to yes, add? I will. Yes, I totally agree. And, uh, you know, there is an anecdote that I do want to share. And again, the importance of networking. I had a student that went through this program about four years ago. And she impressed me. She was, um, you know, a mature lady who had, uh, she was new here in this country and had no U.S. human resources experience. So she took this program and she took the SHRM program and she couldn't get a job, even though she had a lot of experience in Venezuela and, 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 and working in Dubai. Nobody would give her an opportunity. So, um, I heard, I understood her problem and I took it upon myself. And I said to her, listen, I have an opportunity for you as an intern. And I gave her that opportunity and uh, she followed my lead. In that particular case, it's a beautiful story because I was able to develop her and she was able to get enough experience from an unpaid internship that I was able to offer her. But when I left that employer, she was she placed herself in a good position and she has been there since i left so i was able to give her that opportunity and she continues to be there uh we continue to be great friends and um so also uh the power of internships are are amazing and uh, and and it's all part of the networking when we speak when we share you never know you never know uh in this program we're all uh, interconnected. Uh, we're all uh, um, real practitioners, so we're in the, we're in the workplace where you know we we know where the opportunities exist, and sometimes we just need to speak up, and and something magical like the story that I just shared could happen. Thank you so much, Mr. Prax. You're welcome. Any other question? Are there any prerequisites to join this program? Academic background? No, there isn't. No, there is no uh, prerequisites to join the program. Uh, you do not need it, a background either in HR whatsoever. Uh, in fact, we do get a lot of people that are doing uh, like uh, switching careers basically. So yeah, there, there is no, no background or educational background either. Yeah, so clearly, if you are switching careers, what better way to show an employer that you're serious about human resources than, than having, um, uh, you know, invested your time for six months at the University of Miami and obtained a human resources certificate from UM? I mean, that, I think that is a testament. Uh, experience, uh, when you're looking, when you're trying to find a job, experience is always very important. But, uh, but if you're looking to change careers, at least it shows that, you know, you're coming to the, you're, you, have, you have done everything in your power to prepare yourself in order for this change. Thank you, Mr. Pratt. You're welcome. I see here, uh, there's a minimum age to join this program. On our, on our behalf, from an enrollment perspective, uh, if someone is a minor and we could get uh, consent from the parent, 
then this is something definitely that we could talk about. Please reach out to me. Again, my information is on the slide and we will be able to talk about this if we're talking about a minor. Uh, that said, I'm not sure perhaps the curriculum of the program, Mr. Pratt, does it require any age or anything? No, no, there's no age in this program. Thank you, sir. All right, next question, please. Okay. Wanted to move on to the slide just to let you know that you will be receiving uh, a survey later on. Okay, I do, we do have another question. Will I receive a certificate from the University of Miami? Uh, yes, you will get a certificate from the University of Miami. And of course, you, you will also be able to say, for example, you apply for a job and they want to verify if you actually got the certificate from us, they'll be able to contact us and have an enrollment verification. So yes, that you definitely study with us and you graduated from our certificate as well. So you, do, you will have that option as well. Next question, please. Well, I believe that that might be it uh, for today. Well, wait, wait, hold on. We have something. Can I post my certificate on social media such as Facebook, LinkedIn? Yes, of course you will be able to. Absolutely, yes. In fact, many people do. <laughs> you should. <laughs> and every time I see one, I give them a like. <laughs> So make sure that Mr. Fred likes yours as well. Right? That, that, he says a lot when your uh, former teacher likes it. <laughs> oh, yes. Next question. How many times you offer uh, the program? We do offer the program uh, multiple times throughout uh, the year. Uh, as of right now, we are basically doing it like we go with uh, the regular academic uh, uh, term, which is uh, like the fall, the spring, the summer. So yeah, we definitely offer it uh, throughout. I, I do believe that, yes, the registration is already open at least for January. Uh, and we don't have anything posted on our website as of yet. The question was, can I register for 2023? And again, we do have uh, information on our website for uh, the, what we call the spring term, which is the January term. Uh, when it comes down to the summer or the fall, that has not been come out yet. But we will definitely have this program. This is an excellent program. Do I start making my payments in January? To, the, the way that, that it basically works is like, as we're talking about the payment plan or, a, or they just want to pay for it. In order for you to be considered registered in the program, you do have to submit payment. So the way that in order for it to sign up, uh, it's very simple. It's like shopping online, I like to say. You basically go to our website, you create an account. Once you have created the account, then you'll be able to add the program to the shopping cart. So being in the shopping cart does not mean that you register. In order for you to be considered registered, it has got to be a payment uh, that has to be submitted. So let's say, for example, you go to, or you want to start the one in January and you submit that payment today, then, hey, you will be registering the program today. So can you start doing it now? Yes. Can you do it for the fall term? Not yet because it's not posted yet. When, it, when it's posted, when it's on the website, can you go in and start uh, submit the payment? The answer would be yes, you could start submitting the payment and that is what is going to make you being officially registered in the program. Okay. 
Excellent questions, by the way. I like the questions. Anything else? Do I get any type of discounts? Um, if you actually are like a veteran and, and you, you show that information to us, what court will ask what you did to one for, uh, you should be able to qualify for, uh, for discounts. So again, this is my contact information, reach out to me and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Well, I'm very encouraged by the questions and by the participation today. We've had, we really have had a great turnout uh, all year. A lot of people, um, especially this year, I've seen just a, a growth in the program. A lot of people interested in uh, having a human resources management certification from UM. So it's it very, uh, it's very telling of the profession of the, um, of the appeal that so many people, I've even, I've had lawyers, I've had, I've had uh, attorneys in my class, uh, many human resources directors, people that are currently human resources directors, they still wanna have a certificate from UM. Uh, they wanna take the SHRM learning system. So it's very encouraging. Um, one particular student, an attorney, she said, John, you know, I went to law school, but uh, I realized I wanna see how I can use my law degree but uh, I want to do something different. So she, she wanted to uh, look at employment law. And so, you know, we have some very brilliant people coming through the program and uh, it's, it's just great to see. There's a, definitely a demand for the, uh, for the profession, a uh, growing demand. So, and SHRM, um, take advantage if you, you know, when you come on board and you register, you want to become a SHRM member free membership for a year. I pay every year. I've been a member for years. And uh, you want to be a member because you're receiving uh, constant literature trends on human resources. So it's uh, once you get into this field, you, you know, it's continuous learning. So I really, I really uh, commend all of you for, for being here, for asking the questions, for being interested because you're being interested in a fine career and a fine program. So uh, again, I commend you for that. You do have a question. <clears throat> Will my work experience exempt me from taking some modules? Out of the six modules, I am an expert on four of them. No, but I would love to meet you and learn from you <laughs> during those modules, because I will tell you, we learn from each other. And we have had so many experts uh, and um, it's always a pleasure to, to meet, uh, to expand our network, I would say. And the class will learn from you as well. And so we welcome you. Ruby, when enrolling, do we select SHRM certificate or human resources? It will be for the human resources. That's the one that has the six modules that uh, Mr. Bratz has been presenting today. Yes. Any, any other question? The person asking uh, about the discount, I mean, this is something definitely that I could ask my uh, my supervisors. Um, if anybody else might be interested, please reach out to me. The question is, can I have a discount if I, if I have to take both programs, SHRIMP and the HRM? So please reach out to us and I will uh, definitely let my uh, supervisors know and then we'll take it from there.
Any other question? No? If we're not gonna have any more questions, uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank you, Mr. Pratt, for participating with us. I know that you had a very busy schedule today, but thank you so very much for understanding and that this is very important for the students to be able to hear from you. Thank you again. I mean, it has been an amazing presentation. Uh, thank for everyone, all the participants that actually joined us today. Uh, the question that you had says a lot about you. Uh, congratulations. Thank you for uh, spending the time with us. And thank you to uh, Sydney uh, behind the scenes for uh, helping us with the presentation as well. Again, this is my content information, JC Garcia. Uh, my email, my phone number, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, Mr. Brax, anything else you would like to say? No, it's been a pleasure as well. And thank you for having me on the program. Have a wonderful day. Thank you as well. Thank you. Goodbye, look, everybody. Look forward, Thank you. Go ahead, sir. I look forward to working with the students. <laughs> I said I look forward to working with the students. Awesome, awesome. And, and you get you got it. He's waiting for you guys. So thank you again. And uh, just email me if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.